today we are reviewing uh, Cine Samples Vox's Epic Choir. And now I've had this for ages. And out of all the choirs I have, this is probably my favorite one. Of course, I've got the free Labs one. And I have Eric Whitaker's choir as well, the Spitfire Audio one, which is like a ridiculous price. I got it for 50% off though. Um, but I find this one, well, I guess they're two different things. That's more of a Paddy, uh, Corley esque one, while this one is, well, an epic choir and does have this phrase 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 builder which i absolutely love about it and it's really fun to play with and mess with uh, and you can get some really cool epic sounds from this library and now at the moment as you can see it comes at just under 200 pounds full price is like 500 but out of all the choir libraries i've dealt with and i hate dealing with choir and vocal libraries because they're just so awkward to work with and mimicking the human voice and trying to get it sounding realistic is near impossible seriously um which is why there's so few good libraries out there but this one i would recommend especially if you mask it with an orchestra behind it you can get some really cool epic sounding pieces like the one that you heard at the beginning of this video but links in the description as always you can do your research and look at it it currently is 200 pounds normally 500 pounds let's actually jump into the instrument itself and you can see the different patches it comes with we've got a phrase builder a legato sections which even then i, I struggle with the boys choir i really enjoyed the boys choir it's a nice one clusters and textures there's some really fun stuff to play with in there rises stabs and screams it's literally is what it says it is there are screams in there which are great effects chords i stay away, away from octaves i stay away from really in all honesty the solo soprano is nice and you've got the legacy one as well the solo boy it's nice as well and then the woman's bum bums i don't know it's there you do actually have multiple mic positions with this if you look at the mixes you've got the full mix close stage far and surround i tend to stick it on the full mix sometimes close if i want to bring it a little bit more in and you can swap it out and mix the men and women in there as well which is nice uh, and turn the men or women off and you do have a uh, staccato and sustains on the same one depending on how hard you hit it i believe if you hit it softly let's test it it's longs longs nope it's shorts <laughs> i had a 50 50 chance so shorts is soft loud is longs but you can adjust that i believe in the settings here yep here you go and you can change the velocity layers you've got dynamics as well which is your mod wheel dynamic morphing you can able or disable and offsetting as well is very handy i do find this lags a little and so when i'm working with say this project or sorry this library with something like bbc symphony orchestra i have to after i write it move it ever so slightly um, back to bring in each bit that's just something i found with working with this library specifically especially since it's cine samples and then i'm working a lot with spitfire audio i think it's the only cine samples library i actually own Anyway, let's start having a little bit of fun. So you can see some ill inbuilt phrases that they've already done and you can actually save your own as well. You could do a random phrase. So we go here, click random, it'll make something up for you. Random syllables, clear syllables, clear phrase. So really nice and fun and you can really match it to how you like it. Uh, let's, I guess, just play with it so you can actually get a sense of hearing it. I will keep it on the normal mix and everything together and we'll just let you listen to it <laughs> you can hear i already hit a wrong note the green is kind of shouts and whispers of each of these phrases so you can hear men women and women on the whisper side of these phrases nice to have that there as well down here you can actually swap between your phrases using key switches which is nice if you if you have more than 20 um, syllables and sounds so we'll st stick with the one here and men are down here women are up here it can be a bit weird wrapping your head around how it works on the keyboard as you can see i hit a chord and accidentally went all over the place let's start again Oh, oh, oh. 
So you can already hear how epic and big and quite realistic the sound is. And as well with the velocities as well, just hitting it harder, getting that long, or the mix. And as well, you can hear that even though I'm holding the long down, you get that one sound, it continues with the expressions. As well, if we're doing the legato, it stays on tar. As long as I'm holding another one, the longs will continue with that one, while the shorts will continue on. So you can extend it a little bit and then move on to the next note. And if we add a bit of mod wheel into that, So you have a lovely dynamic range as well. You have that quiet, intimate sound. You have that loud, epic sound. And when you bring it all together in a piece, it comes together really nicely and you have this beautiful sound. I do find I have to work it a little bit more, especially with the keyboard. I feel like I'm going, really spreading my hands out here to hit the chords because uh, the way it's set and so really going into the midi and working with it you're going to get a really nice sound and working with a mod wheel and really pairing up your phrases and words nicely as well to work really well uh, will get you a better sound but i highly rate this phrase builder it's the reason i bought this one was quite literally for this patch because you get a really nice realistic sound out of everything I've worked with. I, I actually prefer this than the Eric Whitaker um, sample library from Spitfire Audio, but I feel that's just my style of composing and how I work. I just have more use for this. Anyway, moving swiftly on to our legato patch, um, which actually has some nice features. Um, there's actually two different sort of phrases uh, they kind of use. So if you go into here, you can see this vocal morph. I'm just going to put that onto 21 because that's the mod wheel I like to use uh, on my thingy to bob up here. You can change the legato mode as well to mono or poly non legato, uh, which is interesting and go into even more detail with things, which is really nice to see. Now, if we go to the mixer, we see something very similar as we did before and we go to the patch you can turn on the boys choir you can turn off different sections uh, which is really nice we'll have everybody on and i think we'll actually look at mic positions as well here uh, as well so let's quickly just play something so you can kind of see what i mean by this vocal morph it's very high let's go for a bit lower Now put a little bit more work into that and not perform it live and you can almost gather a realistic sound. I really like the fact that you can transition between the two because it sounds as one's coming in, the other's uh, going out and you have this nice little morph as if you've got multiple vocalists doing different things uh, which can really add to the realism. And I wasn't even messing with the mod wheel at the same time there. So if I, I attempt to do a little bit of both, we'll see what we'll get. I think I prefer the men in this choir. It's 
such a rich fun sound and you can really get this epic um mix going uh, which is fun so that's the full mix if we actually look at the close mix you can really hear the panning there the men are on the right i think i've got my headphones on the right way yeah men are on the right women on the left And you can hear the legato there. Basses are a little loud, but what's nice is we can go, okay, basses are a little loud, let me turn them down. So that's a really nice feature as well because some libraries you find, oh, this bit is louder than that and you can't tweak that. I really like the fact that you can tweak each section within this library. So let's go on to a close. I'm going to stick the man a little bit more up, sorry, the stage. And you can have multiple on. So if you want it close and stage, it will be a bit heavier to run, but it is something that you can do. There we are, I could do with an extra set of hands here for moving everything about to get a better live sound, but hopefully you're getting the gist here. All right, far. Okay, let's stop butchering it there. You get the idea, you're getting the sound. There was a bit of far and stage, actually. The far is... Stage. Close. Full mix. And surround. I forgot how good some of these legatos are actually. Um, it's passable, <laughs> actually a lot passable than I remember. It's been a while since I've actually delved into this library, but to uh, a project I'm about to start, I'm gonna be using it. So I thought, hey, I should check it out. And I thought, why not do a review um, as well of the product? And I actually forgot how nice you can get those legatos. And don't forget as well, we've got the mod wheel uh, there. Uh, to mess around with different bits and bobs. Val Morph uh, uh, as well, which I kind of stopped doing towards the end, but there's a lot you can do. It's a very powerful legato patch. Right, the Boys Choir, probably my favorite uh, one, because yeah, it's just this really nice gospel sort of sound to it. And again, you have all those different mic positions, although, as I said, it is one patch, uh, so you can't like tweak different people within it. Let's just go with the full mix and have a play.
And what I like doing as well is mixing in a little bit of close just to give it that intimacy. beautiful sound and I'm sure you could probably make that sound a lot better than I am if this is really out of the box with a guy who's moderately okay at playing the piano so I feel this gives a more realistic take than somebody like uh, Christian Henson who could probably sit down at a piano and batter something out <laughs> right let's move on to the clusters and textures these are a lot of fun and um, they give you some variety and basically effects to add to compositions that I probably use a lot more often than the other patches And they do work with the mod wheel as well. So you can tell there, there's just a lot of just, as it says in the tin, clusters and textures. And again, they have all the mic positions as well as the mod wheel. So you can really mess and have some fun with these sounds. Uh, you can enable dynamic morphing as well. And the mod wheel you can change it to whatever you, if you want there as well men and women clusters and if you go to just effects that's a fun one those are fun for big pieces where you really want to ha huh. <laughs> a breath Whispers, this is a really fun one for horror tracks. Although I wouldn't buy this just for the effects. <laughs> I'm sure you can find something similar on Piano Book. Oh, this is a fun one. <laughs> the classic ghost sound. So uh, lots of fun sounds and effects. And don't forget to go to the patch and change it between clusters and effects as well. So you can get the fullest out of the library. Rice stabs and screams. Uh, again, I think something's very similar to what we just saw. One thing I absolutely hate about this library is what is the point in these ones? I never ever will and never have used the Vaxos patches because I'm literally just singing the product. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to use that for anything. These are nice. And wait for the scream. Oh, that's the whispers. Again, the clusters and effects, you can swap between that. I feel that's, I guess the, these two patches, I think is accumulated, accumulated between these two bits and bobs. So I think if you swap between the two, you're swapping between the two there. I think that's what it is. Something along those lines. Anyway, chords quite literally and you can look down I believe yeah they do say here we are you can kind of see it right in the bottom of contact right here where my mouse is what each one is major roots major first inversion second inversion then your minor and their inversions as well if you understand chord progressions if not hit them and see what works <laughs> and the mod wheel works with them So if you don't want to spend the time making your own, you can just come to this patch and do a chordal progression. And as you could already hear there, you, they work quite nicely together. So you can work with this to put the already curated chords together in your music and they're beautiful they, they have this lovely um what's the word sonic 
they sound nice. That's what I'm just trying to use weird words. They sound nice. Let's just leave it at that. And you have the mic positions there. I like, as I said, mixing just a little bit of close because you have that beautiful panning and it just brings out some of the voices and makes it sound more dense, thicker texture. I think that's the word I'm trying to go for. Chords, um, not much with regards to settings. Again, you have breath control for the vowel morphing and mod wheel. So if we want to just quickly show you that, if we go into here and just set that to 21 again, it's nice that you can change your CC as well. So depending on your piece, you can have an ah and ooh uh, in this bit here, which is nice to have. Uh, solo soprano, let's move very swiftly on because we want to keep this video short and concise. This is fun, especially when you work with it. Uh, again, you have staccatos and sustains depending on the velocity. We have vowel morphing again, which I like to set to my faders, which I use you know, 21 a lot for vibrato. Voice leading engine, again, it changes that and you can go even more into the settings and work with the sounds there as well. Note duration, voice uh, occupation. Sorry, my eyesight. So there we have it there. And this is a, a lovely little patch. And when you put this over the rest of the um, choir, you can get some really interesting results. You do have to be careful, as you could hear there. I did hit a note slightly wrong to either trigger something else or the legato didn't quite ring through. But I think you could get the idea here. Now, if you wanted a more vibrato-y sound, the legacy one is the one you want to go for, which is this one. So that's your more operatic sound, while the newer one is a more tamer version, but this can really soar over your melody. And it's beautifully sampled. You've only got the mod wheel for this and ambience simulator. Um, if I turn that off, what happens? Okay, so that's just kind of your reverb. And I almost feel like it sounds like multiple people singing at some points as well as you can kind of hear. I, I don't know if that's just to do with the legatos or how they've tuned it. But again, you have a range of positions and of course the ambient simulator. I don't know why you'd want to turn it off unless you've got your own reverbs you want to work with. Next we have our solo boy, which is a legacy one from the original. This is version two. And I believe this one has the more. Oh, it doesn't have the more. Never mind. It's legacy, but very churchy, very gospely, um, gorgeous solo voice. And finally, a patch I I don't think I ever use. Uh, bum bum bum. Now my biggest problem with this is the round robins. I don't think there is any. Um, turn the mod wheel up. So it's okay if you've got an interesting chord or sort of progression. And you do have uh, the holes.
it is what it is. Not a patch I really use, bit gimmicky. I guess they could have included that in something else, but it's something there on the end. Really what I bought this for was for the Freeze Builder. Such a powerful engine. The Legatos actually just doing this review reminded me how good they actually were. The solos are really nice to layer on top. You have some effects. It is a really nice rounded product. And for, well, at the moment, it's priced about 200 pounds. I feel it's very much worth it, especially if you're gonna use it um, for things. The Frage Builder is nice. This is an epic choir. Um, you can do some lighter stuff with the Legatos, but really the Frage Builder, is, phrase, phrase Builder, I can't talk today, is a very powerful engine. I really do like this product. Uh, it's a lot of fun to work with, um, but I hope that's been helpful and educational, I guess. Out of all the sample choir libraries, this is my favorite one. We will review Eric Whitaker one at some point, um, but let's leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.